Oh, right, guys, today we are going to be reacting to Andrew Trigger's Modern Women Who Doesn't Understand What Submission Is. Jump in. I just think it's wild that you say, Andrew, that you don't even involve your wife in, like, like what you say just goes and it's not even a good discussion because you don't even want to, you don't care to deal with it. That's not what I say. Pretty much. No. I just say if it is the case that I do do that, right, she doesn't have a say. So when I feel inclined to do so, if necessary, she doesn't have a say. It doesn't mean I don't involve her in any decision making. That would be absurd. Okay. <clears throat> in fact, I need to consult with her on many, many, many different things because she runs the household. Okay. But who so cares? then maybe I just saw like one yeah, clip so that ultimately the position just is if I decide not to involve her, that's really that's my choice and not her choice. And if I decide that we need to do something within the household that she may disagree with, that's ultimately my choice. Doesn't mean I don't involve her in any decision making. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Do you think every relationship should be like that? Or is that just for you? <laughs> I think that um if if more relationships were run as a uh, patriarchy where a woman submits a man's ahead of the household, that they would they would be a lot better for for both people involved. I think biblically speaking, what's going on in this country right now, part of the reason we're having so much fallout, even politically, is because there aren't enough male leaders and figureheads, and we need strong male leadership all around. So I don't disagree with your viewpoint. I think there's obviously exceptions, as you're kind of bringing up, like there should be female involvement in certain decisions, but I respect your view on that. Problem yeah. is, is that Push back. people always want to make arguments from outliers. Yep. The, the kind of like... Um, we're always looking at these small outliers and going, what about them? Well, we're not going to shape policy around outliers, right? We're not going to do that. We're not going to shape society around outliers. We're not going to do that. Uh, that would be really stupid. That would be the sacrifice of the whole for the few, <laughs> rather than the few for the whole. So that would make, that would make no sense. Like, um, yeah, you can imagine that there's some people who possibly... Uh, you know, stop signs may affect negatively. I don't know. I'm sure that they're out there. I don't know how they're affected negatively by them, but I don't give a shit, right? Because Damn. we still need to have stop signs. So I just, I ultimately don't care. I'm not going to be like, oh, well, let's go ahead and redo everything when it comes yeah. to. Dumb. I like, uh, I like, I like when when Andrew do push on those outliers because you you will notice females tend to do that, even they will agree with the male. They always have to bring that exception just to make sure she can tell the to the rest of the group, hey, just to let you know, you might be not wrong. And this is what happened. That's why Andrew is pushing back. Is he, is, he's also inviting her to just going back and forward. And that way he can destroy her point of view. You know, you stopping at an intersection because um, because that affects your mental health. Yeah, or, like or I some, some retarded. Like shit, I right? agree with you. Like <laughs> um, I oh, think there is bad. like a biological aspect to like relationships and like gender roles and all that but I think that like in a relationship like you should have the decision to you know kind of have the dynamic that you want like if the woman wants to be the provider I think that should be like an option you know but like in general I do think that biology plays a part in that in general, men are more inclined to be the providers. I, it, listen, I, I, I agree that if a woman wants to be a provider, she should be a provider. I would just advise any man who is with a woman like that to get the fuck away from her. That's all. <laughs> like, I'm hey, not if a man say, is not gonna say, up and he wants that, like, like I'm why not? Gonna not? Say, <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to say that they can't, right? That would be absurd. <laughs> and maybe there's some guy out there who's like, oh, I just can't wait to simp for you, queen, or whatever. You know, whatever it is, <laughs> fine. Um, but my advice to men like would be to get away from that woman. It's probably going to end very badly. Probably. <laughs> Not the best idea. <laughs> I, love, I, I love the tension. I love tension. Tension demonstrates a lot of confidence, guys. If you have conversations like this and tensions brewing in the, in the setting, just let it be. She's uncomfortable. Look at that. She's not liking this. She's not liking this, right? She's not liking it. Why she's not liking it? Because he, Andrew is testing the worldview, right? Because she's always surrounded by, by simps. Andrew is not, he's like an average guy telling her 
that what you're thinking is off the rail and nobody believe you. But I'm telling you that. Of course, he's not saying that, right? But he's he's not saying that in that way. But the way he's projecting that is come down to that kind of mindset. That's why she has that faith. She cannot believe it. She cannot believe it. Look at that. Hey, okay. do you see? Was there? A, I, I kind of want to just get everybody's disagreements before we dive into any of the particulars. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do, I'll, so I'll, I'll was just there more? Like, no, yeah. I think that's it. Okay, disagreements. Oh, um, so I kind of like already kind of stated like my stance, but I do think that there is like a biological aspect to like gender norms and like um, ah, the legal defense fund. What happened? You know, like um. Just gender roles in society. If you, if you guys in know general. in the comments, uh, let me know in the comment section why he has a legal defund, defense fund. Well, what happened? He probably, somebody sued them, I guess. But I think that, like, in my relationship personally, like, I would like to be, like, a trad wife. <laughs> like, I want my husband to provide for me. But I understand that there are women who don't want that. And that's totally yeah, fine. I've met, yeah. like, three. Yeah. But it seems like every time <laughs> we reduce it, they would prefer yep. to stay at home. Yeah. And, you know... I don't know, like, I think that, um, I just think it's important for people who don't want to follow that route to have the option to. Okay. Um, yeah, that's basically all. And I do think another thing that was, uh, that I mentioned is that I do think that women have it a lot easier, like, in the dating room. Um, but I think that a lot of that comes with a lot of scrutiny as well, like from, you know, like patri patriarchal ideals from society. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just let it be. At this point, you have to let them answer, right? And that way you can just go back to that. I really don't know why he has in that. Here, guys, let me show you. Right here, you see? He, they're having a legal defense funds here. Something happened. That's what I'm saying, man. At the same time, I like what these people are doing, right? Because what they're doing is basically, you know. And this, this is this, this is the thing. When you bring females to a place like this, you're most likely going to get this because they're not going to just simply go without their hands empty or empty-handed. Like Probably one female, just she felt bad. She needed to quit the show, and all of a sudden, she said, I want to sue you. And bam, this is what you have, bro. This is so wrong. See, this is why sometimes I'm not that hard on Brian. Because he's he's getting hit left and right. Just to give us a show. And here. Not easy, folks. Damn, not easy. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you in the next one. I'm out.